everybody. Welcome back. As promised, I am back with a, another tutorial for craftingonabudgetstore.com. I hope you're um, giving May some love and buying some stuff and uh, helping her out because this is a big new adventure for her. She actually has a storefront and an online website that she's running, so she's very busy. Um, but I am here to hop on and do some tutorials with her amazing, amazing products. And right now we're working through our 31, um, by Prima Frank Garcia. We're doing some Halloween projects. And the first one we did was this book and we did it together. And, uh, you didn't get to see the final part with me adding the tool on, but there you have it. It's so adorable. This book is so cute. I haven't showed it to my daughter yet because it's part of her Halloween gifts. Um, my daughter is allergic to peanut butter, so we have to be very careful about what candy she gets. So she always gets gifts. And this explosion box is going to be a gift for her as well. Um, so everything I do Halloween will be for her. Anyway, first thing I do want to say is I want to say a big thank you to May because I was never going to come back and do this. Never. Um, just wasn't going to do it. As you guys know, um, I had so many people ask me to come back. I didn't come back. Um, and I prayed about it and I said, the only person I would do this for is May. Um, May and I, our friendship has really stood the test of time and we have been through it all um, since like 2000, I want to say 14 or 15. Um, and we've just remained friends. We've, we've just remained friends and she's given me my space and waited for the timing to be right. And I said yes. And I'm so happy I said yes because I have missed you all so much. I was reading the comments and just bawling my eyes out because I didn't think you missed me as much as I missed you. And to see that you missed me too is so incredibly special. And I thank you so much for that. And May, you know, I adore you. You're like a sister to me. Um, thank you for giving me this safe platform and the ability to do what I love to do um, and and do it with all of you guys. So I am just beyond excited and I just want you all to know I am reading the comments. Eventually um, I'll figure out how I can comment on them. Um, I think I can reply, um, but it's just so good to see all of you and I hope more of you come back. I hope that you guys like the videos, that you share them out, um, to give May the exposure for her store. It's so important that we help each other. And, um, I just want to say a big thank you. My heart has just really, um, been hurt and, I haven't crafted really that much since, um, since the time that I got off, I did some of my own projects. Me and Marty did some projects together, um, via Skype, um, just as friends, but nothing, um, that I was ever going to do, um, and put up, um, and I did not even record anything. And so I'm just so blessed and so grateful and so excited and i hope that you guys are excited too i hope that you're excited as excited as i am and i just again i want to say a big thank you first of all to may for providing this platform for me and i want to say a big thank you to all of you because you guys are why we do this in the first place and so it's so nice that you guys are so happy that we're doing this for you. And so without further ado, I'm going to stop babbling because you know how I get chatty and you know, that's just me. <laughs> I 
for those of you new to May's channel, um, I like to chit chat a lot. Um, but I think it's important to share things with you guys because, you know, you guys become like our family, you know, I mean, we, we get just, we get it so attached to you, just like you get attached to us. So, you know, it works both ways. And I just want to let you know that, and we don't ever take that for granted. Um, I'm trying to make these tutorials shorter than my older tutorials so that you're not having to watch two or three videos. Um, so I'm doing a lot of step outs and cutting out and prep beforehand. I do apologize for the glare, but the sun is right there right now. And this was the only chance I had to, um, film, but hopefully it won't be too much of a distraction and you are going to hear me give the measurements and see me do things. So let's get to the project. This is a triple layer explosion box and I'm so excited to do this explosion box. So I have here the one we're going to do together, the layer we're going to do together. So I'll put that to the side for a second and I'm going to talk to you about the other two layers that I've already done so that you can see exactly how this is going. And I will, I'll move this over more so that you can see it because I do see the glare on my screen too. And I do apologize about that. I think that's better. Okay, so this is the very first layer, which is the bottom layer of your box. So this is the part that's going to go on the bottom and on the bottom and the sides are going to come up and your lid is going to come on. Okay, so that's what it looks like. This is the concept we're going for. But then we're going to stack two more layers into this and make this really wild, crazy good. So the first layer is 12 by 12 piece of paper and you score four inches on all sides. And what I mean by that is you take your, and I don't have a big piece of paper, so I'll just have to use a tiny piece of paper. Um, but what you would do is say this was, pretend this was 12 by 12. You would take your 12 by 12 and every four inches, but I'll do an inch on this one just for an example. But you would score it. And of course you'd use your bigger scoreboard or you'd use a ruler and a mat if you don't have a scoreboard. So we did our first score and then we flip it and we score again, same amount of inches we flip it do it well wasn't in the groove there do it again and then we flip it and we do it again so that's how you get it and you can see the the marks should have done it maybe on black oh there you go you can see all the score lines so that's what i mean when i say score all around the piece of paper Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that before we moved forward, just in case you're new to crafting and don't know what that means. Um, so what I've done, okay, here's the 12 by 12 piece of paper, and I've scored it all at four inches. And then what I've done is I've cut out all the corners. And that's what you're going to do on all three of these. So here there was a four inch block here there was one here there was one here and there was one here and I just cut those out I followed my score line and cut them out I find that cutting them out with my scissors is easier than trying to line it up with my um, paper, paper cutter so it's up to you if you're comfortable putting it back in your paper cutter and just going up to the to the the mark and then flipping it and going up to the mark again, great. I am not comfortable doing it that way. So let me first show you the outside and explain to you. When you're making this, you have to think of the fact of how you're going to position your pieces because you would normally think, okay, let's have everything going in this direction. See how this is up and down? But this is a side of the box that's going to be lifted up. So you can't have it going the wrong direction. So you have to remember that your pattern is going to be uh, your your pattern and your embellishments and everything have to be going in the right direction. So I look at it this way. The top one is going to always be the portrait of what we do. You know, normal portrait. 
and then the bottom one is the reverse and then the sides face in to each other so if you remember that then that will help you now i want to give you some measurements because i told you this was a 12 by 12 piece of paper we scored it at four inches but then I did some layering, as you can see. I used black paper, pattern paper. I used some of the ephemera and the flowers from the actual collection. So what you're going to need is three and three quarter by three and three quarter sheets of black paper, and you're going to need eight of them. The reason for that is you're going to mat it with the black first. I see some glue here I don't like. You're going to mat it with the black first, and you have two sides to do. So that's what you're going to do first. Um, and then you're going to need eight pieces of pattern paper, which are three and a half by three and a half. And you will need eight of those, and those are going to go on top of your black pieces. Okay? Now... Some people, when they do this type of an explosion box, is they take their pictures, and you know what, let me just grab a journaling card. It doesn't fit on there, but you're going to see what I mean in a minute. They take their pictures, and they have them all facing in, like this, okay? But I don't like that. When I, when I like to open an explosion box, I like to be able to see the pictures easier. So when I do my inside, I have everything facing me. See what I'm saying? Every layering is facing me. So if you go around this whole box, it's all facing me. And that's how I like it. If you want to have it so that the pictures or whatever you're using is all going in, looking into the box, that's fine too. I just think this looks better like this. My personal opinion, you don't have to do it that way if you don't want to, but that's how I like it. So this is our first layer, okay? And it's going to look so, look at how, just look at how cute that is. I mean, really, it's just too cute. Too stinking cute for words. I love it. I don't even know what I'm going to use as like the, I guess it really won't matter. Another piece of glue. I used tape runner on this. Um, and then I ended up going back to the art glitter glue. I just have to shake mine. And I think I was putting too much pressure on it. Because remember the other day it was like all over the place. Um, so I think that's why. Um, okay, so here again, remember the first one, the top one is portrait. This bottom one looks at the top one, so it's a mirror image. And then these two side ones look into each other, okay? And then, again, I did my pictures all facing out um, because that's how I like. Now, this middle piece is 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. And you're going to score at three and three quarters all the way around. You're going to cut your pieces out and then this middle layer for the black pieces you're going to need eight three and a half by three and a half and then you're going to need eight three and a quarter by three and a quarter okay so that's going to create this next layer now since i have this layer done I can now add it into this one. See, this is how it's going to go. So I'll glue this one in now. And I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I just want to, I'm going to see what the best way is for me to glue this in. I think, I think I'm going to just put a little clip here for a second just to hold that. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this because this is the best way. So now I'm going to glue this one. I'm going to make sure that my outside pieces are facing outside. And I'm going to glue this into the center of this. And you'll see how we start to build. And then we're going to do another layer. So this is really a fun project. I did this for my aunt um, for her birthday. And she loved it she shows it to everybody because she just thinks it's so adorable 
um, this is also a trick with your fabric tack don't ever shake it down that's what makes the bubbles come up when you go to flip it the other way and then all of a sudden it looks like a volcano is exploding uh, the reason why is because you've shaken this so you don't want to get any shaking involved so I have to wait for it a little bit to go to the end and then I'm going to put I'm going to go all the way to the end now I'm going to put my fabric tack on the bottom here and I'm using fabric tack because fabric tack I should say I'm calling it the wrong way um, I'm using fabric tack because I really like the hold it gives you and this is going to have so many let you know multi layers and there's lots of paper so I want I want to make sure that it's going to hold up and I don't trust it to the to the art glitter glue for this so I want this and I know some people don't like using this this glue I really do like using it um, for this kind of stuff um, so there we go and then remember always put your cap right back on it and we won't have any explosions or anything like that so okay so now I'm gonna just try to get it in the middle as much as I can what's nice about Fabri-Tac is you do have a little bit of wiggle room um, because it doesn't dry right away but yeah that's pretty much centered oh my gosh this is so stinking adorable already let me just see Let me that a little bit there we go that's better okay all right so now we have our two layers now we're going to work on our third layers but before we work on our third layers I want to talk about the lids because each layer is going to get a lid so this is the top lid here see oh my gosh it's just so I mean just look at how cute and I didn't even decorate the top yet but this is the look we're going for but each layer is going to have a lid the one that I did for my aunt I only did one lid and then after I saw this I said mm, I wish I would have done lids for every layer because it is kind of cool like it's like opening a present within a present within a present so anyway the first lid and we're going to do a lid together but I'll give you the dimensions and everything for the first lid the first lid is six and an eighth by six and an eighth and you score one inch on all sides okay then I'm going to show you how we cut it but each of these sides pieces are going to get some pattern paper and black paper and what you're going to need for that is the black on the sides is four inches by seven eighths and you'll need four of them and then the pattern paper that comes onto the top of the sides just as another layering piece you don't have to do that if you don't want but I like it um, you want that one to be three and three quarters by three fourths and you'll need four of those as well so again it's four by seven eighths you need four of them and then three and three quarters by three quarters four of them in pattern paper the top is going to have a four by four piece of black paper and then on top of that is a three and three quarters by three and three quarters paper and I'm hoping to decorate this with you guys and I'm really hoping my witch's hat that I have for this is going to fit and I don't know it might be too big but we'll see um, so that's that lid okay and then the middle lid is five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths okay and you're going to score one inch again on all the sides and for these sides the black I don't know what is going on on my phone hold on sorry about that I even have it on vibrate uh, okay all right I'm sorry let me say this again so your middle lid is the paper is five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths you're going to score around one inch on all sides your black side sheets are going to be three and three quarters by seven eighths and you'll need four of them in black and then three and a half by three quarters and you're going to need four of those in your pattern paper 
the top of your lid you're going to need your black is three and three quarters by three and three quarters your pattern paper is three and a half by three and a half and then i actually added another piece from the collection because i just thought that was so cute so what you're going to see if i start putting this together is we have this middle layer here and this middle layer is going to get its own top okay and then we go up we step up and this layer is going to have its own top but we're going to also do one more layer so just so you know there's going to be one more layer with one more lid in it and we're going to do that together right now and you know guys rewind um pause it to write down the measurements it you know what what i did was and i found this to be very very helpful is i put everything on sticky notes and i started cutting every piece out and i made little piles so that i knew exactly where everything was and how i wanted it to be and you know all the the pattern paper i wanted to use and all the, you know i had it all ready to go so that it was really easy for me to put this together so let me set this aside and let's work on our final inside layer which is the smallest layer so let's first look at this piece this piece 10 and a half by 10 and a half and i scored it at three and a half on all sides and then i took my scissors and i cut all four corners out you do that on all the pieces then what we need are our black mats first which are three and a quarter by three and a quarter and we need eight of them so we're going to put these on so let's do that now and i'm going to use my tape runner and i'm not too proficient with this yet because I, it's not something I use a lot of. So if I look awkward doing it, it's because I am, I'm not used to it. Um, but I didn't want to use hot glue. Uh, I just thought I'd use this. Okay, so I'm just going to do, we're going to do all these. mat on here easy peasy there we go one more this one here okay and then I'll do this side too while we're here just let's get the black out of the way first and then we'll work on the inside all right and I don't know if May has the, t uh, the tape runner in her store you would have to check and again that is crafting on a budget store.com and oh my gosh you should just see everything that she has it's incredible oh i'm like a kid in a candy store in that shop i wish i could go to the physical location but it's probably a good thing i can't because i'd be putting us in the poorhouse. um but I just, I, I just love it. I love everything she has. And am I missing a black piece? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. How could I be missing one? Did I do two? I accidentally. Well, I wasn't going to have to get my trimmer out, but I guess I'm going to have to. Let me see if I have any black scraps that I can cut down. No, that's so weird. And I didn't drop it, did I? I have a habit of doing that too. Well, 
I don't have any black scraps, so I'm going to have to cut one. So we are going to have to get the paper trimmer out anyway, guys, and I apologize for that. But I thought I was all ready to go. So three and a quarter. By three and a quarter. Hmm, I can't believe I did that. See, here I was thinking, oh, look at me. I got it all together. Oh, yeah, do like me. Cut everything out. And I'm sorry you're here in la the lawnmower now. I didn't know my husband was going to do the lawnmower right this minute. So uh, I apologize for that. Let me Oh, what's happening to my tripod here? Uh, let's see. I should be able to see that good like that. Hmm. I'm having all kinds of... You know, I just set this up, this room up, so that we wouldn't have these problems. And... We're having them anyway. Okay. I think it's because I moved the paper trimmer and that's like over in this mess over here. Okay. All right. So if you hear the lawnmower, I apologize. I should have told him I was taping. See, he's not used to me doing this. And it's so funny because he, I have to say, I have to tell you the story. Um, he didn't want me to do this anymore. Um, he was just so tired of all the drama and everything. And when I said I was going to do it again, he just said, well, if it's for May, you could do it for May. <laughs> but anybody else, no, you can't do it for. So it was just so funny. So May and I had a good laugh about that, that we would, David said only May. And you know what, guys, I just realized we're going to need one to cover the middle, which I had not thought about, but we are going to need that because this middle is actually going to show. So let me do another one. So it's a good thing. So, so you're actually going to need nine of the three and a quarter by three and a quarter and then nine of the patterned paper which will be three by three so let me just i know i don't have an extra three by three so let me just cut this while i'm here hmm see it's a good thing it's actually a good thing that that happened because i don't have to make any corrections to the video or you know how some people that right say oh wait you know they put it on the screen no that was the wrong way so anyway all right so yes we're going to need one here in the middle we're going to decorate the middle a little bit too and you'll see what i mean in a minute but let's get this going now if you bought the 12 by 12 paper pack you're going to be so happy because there is a cutout page of all three by threes they're so cute so you'll be very happy if you bought this um this is going to be the part that we glued down so this is going to be the outside of our box so let's figure out i think i want this guy i definitely want this one now wait remember these have to go facing each other move this over here a little bit because remember this is the the box part and then this is going to go like that and then there we go okay so that's how I want that set up so let me do these and guys I'm not gluing these down like crazy I mean I'm just not you know you can if you want to I don't really think we need as much glue sometimes as we actually use. This isn't an album that's going to be opened and flipped through. This is a box, so it's a little bit different. So, okay, this is going the right way. I'm just making sure. So our two 
These two are looking at each other and these two are looking at each other. It's the lighting one over again. Okay. And for those of you who are inclined to prayer, I would love to ask you all to pray for my Aunt Patty. A lot of you know her um, from being on my my oh, I forgot that one. On my videos. Um, she was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. So She's undergoing chemo right now, and she's going to have to have surgery and radiation. So if you would be so kind as to lift her up in prayer, I would really appreciate that. And I know that she would appreciate it too. So I thank you for that in advance. Okay, now these next pieces, remember, I like mine facing this way. You might like yours facing a different way. But I like it to all face out so that I can just keep turning the box and seeing all the different pictures. Okay, and then that one will be in the middle. All right, let's do this. Now, one thing about this, you can really do the outside layer, which is the out of your box you can do you know the flowers like I did you can do the foam tape to pop things up you can really um, do a lot on the outside but as you start moving to the inside you can't because the box is just not going to be able to hold it all um, and then it'll just balloon out so just letting you know um, if you're like me and like to add 50 million things you really don't want to add anything on foam or pop dots. You don't want to do anything like that. Look at this. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. You don't want to do any of that except for the outside layer. Now we, we're going to add stuff to these. I don't know about this layer though because everything is so cute. Like these cards are already done, so maybe not. <laughs> I don't think so. We might not be adding ephemera to this piece. Um, we might just leave it as is. Okay. And this is our centerpiece now. Okay, so now we have this all ready to go. And we can actually glue this in now too. Let me get that same paper clip again. All right, so let's get, so see, look how cute this is getting. You see why I like it on the outside? I just think you can see things better. And then you just kind of twirl it around and read everything. It's just me guys. If you like it the other way, please do it the way you like. And of course I put the clip right where I have to put the fabric tack this really dumb okay here we go waiting for this so yes my aunt starts her second chemotherapy on October 26 so I we're thinking that by the time the chemo is all done she'll probably have her surgery sometime in January and then maybe some radiation we're not sure yet um, it just depends on if they're able to get it. There is lymph node invasion. Um, so we're just hoping um, and praying that everything goes good. You know, it's interesting because I have breast cancer. It runs on my father's side. So my grandmother had it. My great grandmother had it. My great great grandmother had it. My aunt had it and her daughter had it. So I've been getting mammograms and everything since I was uh, in my tw or like 20, I think they started. And I also had the BRCA gene testing done because of my family's history. And now it's on my mom's side with my aunt. So it's kind of scary, you know, um, and it's unfortunate, but early detection is key. And I will, I will share with you guys, because you know I share my life. Um, my aunt was the kind of person that uh, didn't go for mammograms. 
she just didn't do it. And I think she had maybe had one her whole life. So it's very sad because this could have been detected a lot earlier. So please, please, early detection. This is the, the pink month, they call it. And it, I hate that they put a, a beautiful, uh, I, I hate that they put my favorite color for such a deadly disease. Look at this. This is a pick I got from Michael's and it was 50% off. I am going to put this pumpkin in the middle. Is that not stinking cute? And why did I shove this one? I need it again. Um, so here we go. Let's do this. Now, if you were giving this to a kid, you could put a little treat bag in there filled with candy. Um, you know, you could really, you could really do some cute things with this, but I'm putting this black pumpkin in. My daughter loves Nightmare Before Christmas. She loves the everything black and you know for Halloween and she you know she likes it as she got older when she was little everything was princess she was every princess you could think of um but now that she's older it's nightmare before Christmas and it's interesting May's daughter Nani is the same way they both love it so we do always look for each other for stuff for the girls so let me put this in the middle here oh my gosh this is so stinking adorable i can't even tell you how much i love this i just love it and i really hope that my witch's hat will fit on the top all right now i'm going to move this to the side for a second give that a chance to dry and we're going to work on the final lid the mid the tiniest lid for this let me see look at i didn't put my cap on and it's already starting to have a little problem that's okay. I'll just wipe it real quick. Ooh. I don't want to do that. I have to get more wipes in here. I keep forgetting. You know, I'm so out of the loop, guys, on tutorials and, you know, all that I need. And so it's it's so weird because I'm like, ooh, I need this. I forgot that. Oh, I got to get that, you know. Um, this I think I will use this glue for. But we'll see. Uh, I think for the sides, I think we'll be better. Okay. Now this is the final, final lid. And this lid is five and five eighths by five and five eighths. And you score at one inch. So that's the first thing you do. And then on each little section where the intersection is between, if you can see it better that way. See how there's an intersection here? with the scoring on each of those you're going to add some score tape okay and then you're going to take your scissor and on one side only you're going to cut maybe you see it on the back better you're going to cut from here let me see yeah okay so from here to where it intersects right there here to here one cut you're not going to cut this out remember how we cut the corners out the last time we're not going to cut them completely out this time this time we're going to cut them so that we can make them into flaps to build our box lid okay now again you can use your your uh, Let me see how I'm just flipping it around. You can use your paper trimmer if you're very proficient in the paper trimming department. Uh, not so much. So I just use my scissors. I like using my scissors. Um, so here we go. There we go. All right. And then what I like to do is just kind of get my paper prepared for this lid okay and you see what's going to happen because we only cut one side when we flip this it's going to go under and get taped 
so that we have the corner of our lids. So that's very important. So you don't want to cut those completely out like we did for the bases. All right, let me start by layering now. Now this is the small lid. Here we are, small lid. The small lid, we are going to need three and a half by seven eighths. We're going to need four in black. So let me lay down the four in black. Where's the last one? Got that? Yeah, I got that edge. Just want to make sure. I just have to go easy on this glue because I was like having a craziness with it on the first video. I think I was just squeezing it too hard and I had just refilled it. Now your next piece, your layering piece is going to be three and a quarter by three quarters. So these are tiny pieces so that you can mat it. Again, you don't have to do that if you don't want. I just have the paper and I love it. And so I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to just do it. I just, Oh, I'm in love with this. And I really hope my witch's hat fits. I'm going to be so sad if it doesn't. I went like everywhere looking for like a, a witch's hat. But you know, the stores, they don't have everything um, like they used to. So you kind of have to get what you can get. I think I got the witch's hat at Dollar General, but I'll let you know um, as soon as I as soon as I get to that part. Okay. And I don't want to cut a little bit too short, I think, but that's okay. All right. And then for your black, you're going to need three and a half by three and a half. That's going to go here. And then we're going to mat it, of course, with our pattern paper. Three and a half by three and a half. Okay. There we go. And then our pattern paper is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay. And then uh, this was also part of the cut aparts and I love that the moonlight. So I decided, I think if they actually had it on the paper like this. on the cut apart. So I don't know if they meant for it to look like that. Let's look at the, let me see if I can find the page. Hold on. Yeah. See, the page has it like that, but you see what I'm saying about that page? Isn't that an awesome page? Well, I mean, if you get this page, you, have, you don't even have to measure. You just cut. It's wonderful. Um, so, yeah, they have it like that. So I guess I'll put it like that. I don't know. Is it like that? Yeah, like that. All right, we'll do it like that. I don't know if I necessarily like it like that, but we'll do it like that. Okay. All right. All right. Then the next step is to take our tape off of our sides. 
and create our box lid. And we'll see how easy this is to do. And uh, see what I'm doing here? I'm taking it, I'm pushing it down, and I'm bringing this to meet the edge. And there we have one corner of the box lid done now. Okay, and do it. I'm going to take this, we push it down, and we bring this over so it meets the edge. And there we go. And do it again. Just going to keep doing it till we're done. Then just matching up the edges. Very easy to do. Now, I am not going to decorate the insides of my lids. I think it's a waste of paper. And I want to make a little mini ornament book with you guys and um, a, a mini book. Uh, I, I think I have some, I want, oh, I wanted to do a loaded, something loaded. So oh, let me put this back in here before this goes crazy. Um, so I'm not going to line them. I think it's a waste of paper, to be honest. But you can. If you, if you like, if you want it to all have, you know, everything lined up and everything, you know, matted and everything, that's fine. It's your project. Do it how you want. All right. So now here we go. Here's our little guy. Oh my gosh. With that pumpkin in the side. Hold on. Oh, sorry. You're not seeing it. Let me move over more. There we go. So here's our little guy. And here is the lid we just made. Okay, and then we have our middle. It's hard to hold them all. And here is our middle lid. Oh, yeah. It's stuck on something. There we go. And then here is our final lid. And now we're going to decorate the top of this lid, hopefully, with the witch's hat. I hope. Look at this, guys. Oh, my gosh. So when you open it, you look, oh, my gosh, look how cute. Can you imagine? And then there's another lid, and you're like, oh, it's even cuter. And then, oh, it's too stinking cute. It goes from cute, cuter, even if that's not a word, to too stinking cute just like that that quick i mean well it's very, it's it's a little bit long this project that's why i did a lot of the work ahead of time um but once you cut everything out you're gonna be like oh this is you know then you just do it bing 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 you know so let's get this and let me get my lid on now I have this witch's hat. It's on a headband. And I did get it from Dollar Yeah, Dollar General. Um, it was a dollar. And I really would like to use this hat and maybe put one of the um, flowers on the hat. And so let's just see. Let's just see how we're gonna do it. Oh, and I gotta take this headband off. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'll give them that. They got it pretty sturdy. I think I could just slide it out. I hope. It's glued in there so, so tight. Hmm. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, I wonder if I start cutting this extra fabric, if it'll let me pull it out that way. I think so. Ooh, whatever hot glue they used, they used a good one. Oh my word, come on. See, I'm just trying not to break this top part here, so I have to go a little easy. 
can't be my little rugged self here and start grabbing it. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, look at now you have a headband. Um, so yeah, it came off. Great. Now, I just think that hat on top of the box and maybe with some of these from the same pick one only one pick i had from the uh, i was just gonna say mcdonald's from michael's one pick and look at there's little candy corns and there's even these pieces which i like so let's see i'm gonna cut oh i can't cut that I'm going to cut some of these pieces down and see what we could do. I don't know. Because this is kind of big, this hat. But I love it. And I really want to use it. I mean, this is not a hole in there. I thought this would be so cute for the top, for the point. Like right up there. I mean, I do think the hat is a little big. But you know what? I I don't care. <laughs> I don't care because I love it. And I think this has to go on top of this. But I don't think we're going to be able to add all these pieces. Um, I don't even think we'll be able to add the, the leaves. I think just the hat and maybe let me look and see what kind of flowers I have for this. A little black, pink. I like to do things in threes if I can. And these flowers are so cute. I could do something like that. And then I still want something up here. I almost want this to be like bent a little. So I might put some glue here and have it bent a little bit. Because I like that kind of look. You see what I'm saying, guys? I, I just, I like that little look and then maybe have something hanging there. All right, so let's first add these with Fabri-Tac. Patiently wait. I was even going to put a big bow on this, but that's not happening. This thing is taking the whole taking up the whole top but that's okay because I just I like it I think it's cute you guys might think it's too big I mean maybe I could maybe go around this felt a little yeah after I glue these on I might go around the felt a little and trim it up just a tiny bit so it's not so dramatic Oh, getting low. Guys, if you buy this, I don't know, I don't know if May has this in her store. But it it really is a good glue. And for some reason, and I know some people complain they don't like the smell of it. I happen to really like the smell of it. I know, I'm a weirdo. Um but I like it. I don't know why. And then, as I say, the other one's going to go here, maybe down there. Yeah. I just like it. And I like that it feels cold. And you'll know what I mean when you use it. If you're gluing stuff together, it feels like cold. There we go. All right, now this is where I want to have that go down. So let's see if the fabric tack is going to hold it, hold it down. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I know this is a mess. Maybe should have used hot glue for that. Maybe. Let me pinch it. Oh, there's my little pinchy things. Let's see if it holds it. 
Mm, no, look, the fabric tack is not holding it. Which I'm surprised because it's fabric to fabric. Mm, yeah, now it is. I wonder. I'm trying to think if I want to put one of these little candy corns. I gotta find my things. Let's see. Let me put that back in the thing. I might want to put this candy corn here. Just like that, you know, add a little bit of something. Oh, no, the glue is going crazy again. Well, that's all right, because I need it. So let me just tuck this behind the flowers. Just to give it a little something. I mean, the hat is cute on its own, to be honest. For a dollar, it's cute. But I like to add, you know me. Maybe two candy corns I'll add, but I don't know if I want to add this wire with it. I'm going to put two. Yeah, I do. All right. So let's add more glue. I know I'm a little off camera, guys. Sorry. I'm still trying to get used to it because when I stopped crafting, I'm... I rearranged my whole craft room so my table is not even where it was all that time ago. Let me move this over. I just want two candy corns in there. I think that looks so cute. Just holding it for a second. I mean, it will set up on its own, but I like to hold it for a second. And then I was thinking of adding like one more flower there. No. Hmm. Now that that's sitting that way, now I don't know if I even like it that way. Okay. No, I don't like that one. I have the spider webby one. No, I think I'm just going to leave that like that. I could have hung a little witch's hat charm to hold it down too, but I don't think so. I'm saving those charms for my little book and, and everything. So, but this is my little ephemera holder. I'm just keep, I'm keeping all my scraps and everything in there because I think it's so cute. So now I have to decide, should we just trim this down a tiny, the felt down a tiny bit? And I am going to. Hmm. I might need fabric scissors for this. I'm not wanting to cut. There we go. It really does pay to use the right scissors, guys. I know it sounds funny, but... Those paper scissors are awesome, but they couldn't cut through this felt. is so cute. Let's go around here. All right, so we cut it a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, much better. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at how cute. Oh, I cannot even stand it. It is too stinking cute. I know, see, this is where it got a little jaggedy from my other scissors, so let me just clean that up a bit. I don't like that. There we go. 
All right, so now I want to fabric tack this and we'll be all done. This is so adorable. You know, I fell in love with this paper from the minute I saw it, but working with it, I just, I don't know, I guess because it's not, you know, what I'm, I'm going to cut this a uh, tag off too while I'm here, just so there's less bulk. Um, but working with this paper, it's just so cute because it's not your traditional Halloween. That's what I love about it. It's just, it's so cute. You know, I love the pinks. I love the vintage, you know, the different vintage things that they popped in. I mean, I, I gotta hand it. Frank Garcia, well, I love all his papers, but I have to say that this is adorable. And we're still gonna do, I think, two more projects, maybe three with this paper. We'll see, you know, how my paper lasts. But I, you know me, I like to use, I like to use everything I'm sent, you know. I just think like, that you should, you know, if you're going to be designing for somebody, you should use everything. Um, I don't know what's happening with this Fabri-Tac now, but before it was coming out like crazy. Now it's barely moving. I don't know if something's stuck in there. Just open it. I don't like this. I don't know why it's doing that. That's weird. It's almost like something's stuck in there. And I really want to make sure that I get this on. It could be because it's almost the end of the bottle too. So you see, I'm just kind of putting a big blob of glue. I'm focusing more on the middle because I don't know how far out my um, brim is going to go. So I'm just really focusing on putting a lot of glue in the middle. And I think that will, if you do this kind of a look, if you get this hat or do a hat, I think that's what you should do because I don't know if any of this brim you know, goes over or whatever, and I don't want to have a problem with it. So there we go. I think that's way more than enough now. All right. So let's get this. I have to look at it my way, guys, for a second before I can let you see. Oh my gosh. This is just, it's just divine. <laughs> it's so cute. Now you could go back and add a little more glue if you wanted to, like, because now I'm seeing where the actual brim lies. So maybe I'll just put some down, but I don't want too much. Guys, this is, oh, I'm so happy we did this project. I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. Now, I'm not going to take this off because I don't want it to, but there you have, I mean, is that not the cutest? I was thinking of putting a glitter bow. Mm. Let me see. Let me see. Cause you know, everything's better with a bow. And I found this glittery. I think this is Hobby Lobby tool with conf yeah tool with confetti glitter. Mm, where's the okay? Where's the there we go? I might just stick like a little bow there. I don't know. Let's see. I just love this glitter. And I will warn you, it is the kind of glitter that gets all over, which I did not know. 
but it is. So we just have to deal with it. You can get glitter tool that doesn't do this mess. I don't know where, but I have seen people say, oh, this, this tool that has glitter doesn't do this. But this one from Hobby Lobby, definitely. Is shedding all its all its glitter. <laughs> I mean, it's still there's still a lot on there. Don't get me wrong. I'm just I'm just letting you know in case you don't like a mess. May would probably be flipping. I'll get this on her desk. The broom, the vacuum, the wipes, everything would be out. You know how she gets me. I'm a little more spontaneous. <laughs> A little more it's okay I'll clean it all at the end and uh, we had the fabric tack I gotta have it I'm gonna have to open a new one of these because this is really too much but it's enough for the bow so that's good oh my gosh I'm getting glue all over me jeez okay all right I'm just gonna put this behind my candy corn just because I'm a little glittery I think our witch needs to have some glitter mm. there we go and you could use hot glue for this too but I like that with the glitter look at how stinking adorable and this is heavy when you feel it when you're all done because of all the layers of the cardstock you're going to be like wow that's really heavy it's so cute look at it guys it's so cute and if you have the the adorable little cutouts the ephemera pieces and the flowers you're gonna love it look at that Potion 31. I, I absolutely love it. This thing is going to drive me crazy. It's going to have to just stay like that. Um, and I did want to use the 31. There is a like a gold 31. I, I only found the one. I don't know what happened to my three. I was thinking, oh no, there it is. There's my three. I might... I'm going to put that on. There's the one. Oh, there's the one. There's the one. Hold on one second, guys. I might, and I don't know if I'm going to yet. But I was thinking putting the 31 like that. Yes. Yes, right? We should do that. We should do that. Okay. See, I'm not even waiting for you to tell me. Cause I'm just gonna do it. I just think it's so cute. Thirty-one. Yeah. That's when she comes out. And I'm not worried about if any glue comes out because it does, the art glitter glue does dry clear. Oh yeah, the 31 just makes it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute, guys. I hope that you love it. I hope you'll forgive me when I'm not in frame and when I'm in frame. And I hope, you know, when I make mistakes, you'll be easy on me because I'm just trying to get my groove back. But you know i do have some great ideas of things i want to do with you guys and paper crafting is like all the rage and um you know it's totally different than lace totally totally different um but i love it i i just love it and the papers that are out and the papers that may is getting oh my gosh guys 
when you see oh it just she's getting them from all over the world so you're going to see papers from places like hungary um italy you know all, just all you know sweden you know just all these different companies that we never even heard of we've never seen we haven't seen people using them and now here they are at you know on the website right available for us and it's so wonderful that she's bringing in such unique stuff and i love that and i hope you do too i hope that you really enjoyed this project i hope you give it a whirl for yourself I think you'll really love making it and I think it would it would be an absolutely adorable gift filled with candy um, you know as, as you saw I did a um, the pumpkin inside but I have a child with a peanut allergy so unfortunately candy is not coming on um, Halloween so um, anyway I think that's it guys I think I'll say be safe be well Take care and God bless you all. And until the next time, bye for now.